Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a fun project for you today. I'm going to take my 2 by gravel bike, my 3T Exploro, and I'm going to try to do a budget one by conversion by swapping out to a single front chain ring and trying to make my Ultegra RX rear derailleur work on an 11 to 42 tooth cassette. It's only rated to a 34 cassette officially by Shimano. I know others have stretched that capacity a little bit higher. We'll go ahead and give it a shot, see if I can make it shift. If not, I know I've seen a 40 tooth cassette work. We can always go that route later on if this one doesn't work. So follow along, let's see how it works. So if you watched some of my older videos, you'll remember I set my wife's Trekamanda up on a one by setup so that it's a little bit easier for her to shift. And on her bike, we have an 1142 tooth cassette. I'm gonna go ahead and borrow this one. That way I can test out my Ultegra RX derailleur without having to spend any money. And if for whatever reason this 42 tooth cassette does work, get my own later. Or if it doesn't, I can go down to an 1140 tooth Shimano cassette later on and I know that's gonna work for me. Go ahead and take a look at the weight penalty when going from an 11 to 34 tooth Shimano cassette uh, HD 700 so 105 level that is 358 grams to the SRAM 1142 528 grams so quite a big penalty on the weight difference there but that's going to be somewhat offset by the uh, chain ring conversion and the uh, elimination of the front derailleur. Plus, you can always get a lighter weight 1142 tooth cassette. This is a SRAM Apex level 1142 tooth. scales out here. So kind of weight difference we're looking at. Looks like 198 grams. Not too bad. And the direct mount Praxis one by chain ring. It was on back order for a while so it took a bit to get to me. Yeah, here 111 grams quite a bit lighter Let's go over 
kid. This install. So as you're probably aware, swapping over the hard parts is the easy part of this. The hard part is going to be tuning that rear derailleur and try to make it shift adequately on that much larger cassette. So we're going to give it a shot. Let's hope it works. So this is no tuning at all, set up B-screw for the 34 tooth cassette. Let's see how it shifts. Not good. We'll give it some tuning. That is the B screw turned all the way in. Tuned up, B screw all the way in, shift through the gears. As you can see from the footage, eh, mixed results. It'll go into the 42 tooth, but it does not like to be there. I think 40 it would probably work out perfect. Good thing I have one on order. So when that arrives, I'll be able to swap it out and get rolling immediately. So uh, probably wondering by the end of this video, why is it that I even switched to a one by from my two by setup anyway? And Really, the primary reason for it is because I never had good front shifting with my Explorer. Um, I would have little ring to big ring chain drops, and some of them were so bad that the chain would just suck right into the uh, chain set itself, and I could not free it up without removing the crank set. 
And if I'm gonna spend money and do a big gravel race, I do not want that happening at any point uh, so that I waste all that money and you know DNF the event. So the one by simplicity, even if the chain falls off, I'll be able to pull that thing and put it right back on and get going again. So I lose just a tiny bit of range on the top end, tiny bit of range on the low end. Realistically, I stayed in my big ring at 48 with the 11 to 34 cassette anyway, just because I fear a chain drop so often. So I'll get more use out of the range that I have here uh, with this new setup. So if you enjoyed this video, this type of content, give me a thumbs up. Um, I appreciate seeing those. And if you have questions, let me know in the comments. That's where I really like to elaborate on my thoughts uh, because I just don't happen to capture all of them on video and reaching me down in the comments is a pretty good way to get me to give you my, my full thoughts on it. So as always, thanks for watching. Enjoy your ride.